example of solving a double inequality. Um, technically, by definition, this is just shorthand notation um, for a longer one. The longer one would literally read uh, negative 13 is less than or equal to 4 minus 3x. And it gets split with the word and, and the rest of it becomes 4 minus 3x is uh, less than 10. So technically what's happening here is there's two inequalities at the same time, and what I want to do is just solve them all at once, pretty much. Uh, so generally this is how it works. To solve this inequality, we would subtract 4 from both sides. To solve this inequality, we would subtract 4 from both sides. So what I like looking at is, well, if I'm subtracting 4 from the middle piece and the 10, and the middle piece and the 13, why not just do it to all three of them at once? Um, so my technique is uh, leave it grouped as one expression, double inequality. And whatever you do to the middle, you do to the, the outers. So here I'm going to subtract 4 from the middle, so that means I have to subtract 4 from the left and subtract 4 from the far right. And that way I don't have to deal with two inequalities, I can just deal with this one conglomerate thing. So this side will give me uh, negative 17 is less than or equal to negative 3x, which is less than uh, 6. Now, the next step would be, well, I want to divide by this negative 3. But if I divide the middle by it, I also have to divide the left and the right. Alright, so let's go through and divide everything by negative 3. Now, when you're dealing with inequalities, you have to be very careful when you divide or multiply by a negative. What's going to happen is the inequalities are going to flip. So the right hand side, the left hand side right now is 17 thirds. But this less than or equal is going to have to flip to become greater than or equal. Uh, then we'll have x. This less than is going to have to become greater, and it's going to be negative 2. Now there's a problem with this notation right now, um, because double inequalities have to both be written with less than. Uh, second thing is, you usually want the smallest number to the left and the largest number to the right. So what we're going to do is just take this whole inequality and flip it upside down. We'll put the negative 2 on the left. It's associated with out the equals. We have this x. We're going to put the 17 thirds on the right. But then that one comes with the equal sign. And this becomes its solution. Now if we're looking on a number line, of this. We have a negative 2 over here, Oops. and the 17 thirds over here. And if we wanted to know where the solution was going to lie, this notation really reads between, between negative 2 and 17 thirds. So we'd have an open circle here, and a closed circle on the 17 thirteenths, and all the answers literally in between. If we were going to write this in interval notation, it would be from negative 2 all the way up to 17 thirds included, so we need to put a bracket. 